Hello everybody and welcome to Leftovers Tonight. Today I've assembled some of Augusta County's most talented people to discuss their art and their careers. Starting today is musician Max Mandu, uh, who is a local talent out of Charlottesville. He's going to be playing a little ditty for us, and then we'll speak with Sonichu in the body of Christine Weston Chandler. All of this coming up shortly after a, a musical uh, a song by Max Mandu. All right, Max. All right, thank you. This song is called Malachi. Malachi sits on the edge of a cliff to watch the world go by They say he's losing his grip, but if you think about it He's the only one who opened his eyes He said, I issued my call, I wrote it up on the wall Got my word from the source The temple may fall, I don't mind at all Everything runs its course Well, it's been years since your message with no reply It turned to fears, but we have danced for rain But the river's running dry It's our worst fear, cause now every day feels more like the end times And we've exhausted all our same old alibis Oh Malachi I need someone Turn the tides, Malachi A Malachi roams through the valley of bones And not a care in his mind he feels right at home, raising children from stones without breaking a stride. He says, Consider your fate, for what is the gate that leads to demise? I tried to reiterate, but no one escaped the jaws of their own device. Well, it's been years since your message with no reply. It turned to fears, we have danced for rain But the river's running dry It's our worst fear, cause now every day Feels more like the end times And we've exhausted all our same old alibis Oh Malachi I need someone to turn the tides, Malachi There'll be nowhere left to pay in the blame For when your best laid plans go up in flames Well it's been years since your message with no reply You turned to fears, we have danced for rain But the river's running dry, it's our worst fear Cause now every day feels more like the end times And we've exhausted all our same old alibis Oh Malachi I need someone to turn the tides, Malachi All right, thank you. Wow, that was really good, Max. Thanks thank a lot. Thank you very much for that. That was really good. What did you think of that? Loved it. Very tuneful. Thank you very much. It was very tuneful. <laughs> that's very, that's true. So, uh, Max, tell me tell me a little bit about um, 
Tell me a little bit about, you know, you can put your guitar away and all sure. that. <clears throat> Tell me a little bit about your career. All right, for sure. Yeah. So I am uh, Max Mondu. I'm from Northern Virginia. I live here in Charlottesville now. You can look at uh, that. Oh, this one. All right. Oh, we have a caller. Call on line one. Hello, caller. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. Um, I understand that you have uh, Ricky and Witch and Chandler on your show right now. Uh, no, that we actually have Sonichu in the body of Christine Weston Chandler on the show right now. Hello, hello. Hi. Um, yes, I just have a uh, question. So, uh, what is? Do you have a due date for the uh, German film merch at this time? Ah. <sighs> so that I don't know if the audience could hear that, but they asked if you have a due date for the original merch. Yeah, not an exact due date, but it's in progress and, can, and incoming. We can't take too many incoming calls. I'm just going to merge them all. Everyone can <laughs> everyone can speak at the same time. Oh boy, you know how this talk show really gets crazy because I put this link up on my twit on the twi on Mama's Twitter account. Yeah, you put it on the Twitter, so now everyone's joining. <laughs> this will go for more than an hour. Well, is the caller still there? No. Now, with that being said, um, what is, where is uh, Christine at this time, uh, so did you? Okay, so... We're at, we're at a, a studio location. Yeah, we're at a studio location in Virginia right now. No, 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 wait, wait. Like, like, I, I got the question. I, whenever... yeah, Mama is in C197 in a future version of this body, and in my body is a future version of myself and eventually i gotta go i gotta get this body into c197 to quickville and then take it up babs con on april 10th hello caller can you hear hello 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 i'm calling in how hello. are you thanks for calling in do you have a question i do i do have one for sonic you yeah yes i'm a huge fan of your work um and I just wanted to know when the chaotic combo are coming in. The chaotic combo? Yeah, that's uh, yeah. That? that's wild side chew, it, bubbles rose chew, angelica rose chew, Funchy side chew, and of course magic chan side chew. When is that coming out? Uh, uh, well, the group stays together all the time. Just you know, whenever they are needed, they will come out and do what they need to do. But most of the time, where you are. Do what we need to do for the good with everybody else in the city of Quickville. Okay. Uh, mute the calls for a little while so I yeah, can answer gonna, one question at a time. I'm mute the calls for a little while. I'm sorry. Just give me a second here. <laughs> I mean, shoot, sure, if we kept on just question, question, question Ooh. after me, we won't, we'll won't. be here all day. All right, so back to Max. Max, can you tell me a little bit about your career uh, for a minute here and uh, where you've been? You said you were in South Korea. Uh, teaching English. Can you yeah, talk a little right. bit about that? Yeah, absolutely. So after college, I before I started any kind of full-time thing in the U.S., I thought I want to have an adventure. I want to uh, live live a really big life that I couldn't have imagined before uh, and do something totally new. So I went out to South Korea to teach English there. A really good opportunity. Uh, I do like working with students and I studied linguistics in college, so it kind of led me there. A lot of calls coming in. <laughs> And yeah, so that was a, just a really big period of growth for me to... Can we hold all calls until our musical guest finished telling his story? Because I'm interested in the story. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I appreciate that. Um, so that was a really big time for, for growth and that I got to travel around and learn another language, meet all kinds of people, um, help me grow my music a lot, just having different perspectives. So you actually, you know, you're fluent in South Korean. I can't say fluent. I, uh, I know of... A decent amount of conversational stuff, but can you say something yeah. to me in South Korean right now? Yeah, Hello, sure. caller. Huh? How's it going? Oh, uh, wrong number. Okay. <laughs> sure, yeah, I can say something in Korean. Um, what do you know in Korean? A lot of basic stuff. I can say, 안녕하세요. 저는 Max입니다. 미국 사람. 예, 이지만 한국에 살아요. 영어 선생님입니다. I said, hey, I'm Max. I'm an American, but I live in Korea. I'm an English teacher. That's cool. <laughs> Spending time in Korea did that like broaden your um, like broaden your mindset? Yeah, absolutely. Um, just because it gave me the chance to meet you know 
well, Koreans for one thing, people from a totally different culture, and also other travelers and expats who lived in Korea, uh, just getting the chance to meet people from all over the world, and generally like adventurous people, you know, people who want more out of life. Than okay, just, just getting by. okay, that was the right number. I'm an idiot. Oh, well, what do you want to? Um, what are we doing? Hello, who's that? Yo, what am I watching? What the what the fuck is this? You're watching Augusta's number one variety show, hosting talent from across the the Blue Ridge uh, region. And today I'm, we have like, two I'm, very I'm, talented I'm, people. I'm so confused. Where, where's Sonic? I don't see Sonic. I'm Sonic right you? here in this body. Why am I not swapped? If you guys want to do a little bit with Sonic Chu off the bat, because I know a lot of your followers are tuning in, that's okay. We do okay. have a lot yeah. of Sonic Chu fans. I want, I want more Sorry about that, Max. No, you get more school then. Yeah, I want to listen to him talk. I was enjoying his story. Oh, thank you. Uh, so was I. But, but yeah, I don't mind, honestly. Like, if you get. All right, whatever. <laughs> Take it over, Sonic Chu. Let's just do the Sonic Chu show. Well, I'm up with that. Da, 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 da. Let's just do the Sonic Chu show. I just said it, it automatically is answering calls now. So if you call in, you'll just automatically. <laughs> that way it doesn't ring. You know what I mean? <laughs> Sheesh. So what's what's uh what's it what's it like being in the body of Christine Weston Chandler? Uh, it's pretty much uh it's very it's very different from being in my body. Whereas you know normally I will, I can run at mock speed. Okay. Uh, whereas I'm okay. just stuck at running. Now this should or work. Being able to move as quickly as this human body is, it gets a little Chris? faster each day, progressing Sonic whatever you? the events. Hello. But aside from that, CPU uh, Blue Heart, pretty much is that you? To, uh, most of the time, Ugh. stay uh, inside, but the Christine, keep... I think Chris? there's a caller talking. Caller, Chris. what's going on? Sonic you! Hey. Sonic you! Eh. What, are you just going to shout Sonic you? Is that all you have to say? Sonic you! <laughs> uh. <laughs> Hello, Chris. This isn't Chris. Chris isn't here right now. Uh, You're mistaken. All right, all right. Please leave a message after the beat. Is this the thing with uh, Chris Chan? This is this this is Sonic the body you. of Chris Chan. Body of Chris Chan, but so of Sonic you. Yeah, Chris Chan I is in C one eight seven in Quickville. I can hear right. you. I know this is the right number. Well, that's can I speak? It, you're, to, can you I speak are, to Sonic you, please? Show? I'd like to speak to the great Christian. Good grief. Hello, caller. What's up? Am I on? Yeah, you're on. What's going on? Uh, not a whole lot. I just wanted to give some love to Guitar Bro, man. You're actually doing pretty well. Hey, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, uh, he's really talented. I just wanted to warn you, man. There's this site called Kiwi Farms. <sighs> well, it looks like he got interrupted by another caller. Hey. Caller, what's going Hello? on? Hey, um, so, you know, I'm a really big fan of Sonic here. I've been reading the comic books ever since I was, like, I don't know, really, really young. And I just wanted to ask, like, um, if you had to choose, like, a favorite character, who would it be, like, in all, all the on all the issues? <sighs> if you had to choose a character that was your yeah. favorite, who would it be? Yeah. Well, Hello? Can you put that on hold or something? I can't. It just automatically answers all of them. Automatically hold. Wow, this is, Maybe people this is, should just call one at a time. This is crazy. Yeah, this, is, this is crazy. Yeah. Like, 9-11 was less of a tragedy than this show right now. This is, this is crazy. <laughs> oh, good grief. All right, I'll turn off Skype for now. We can just have a conversation here yeah, with, with but, Max but, Mandu, but anyway, rising uh, talent Max Mandu, and and the body of Christine Weston Chandler with Sonic Chu inside. Yeah, <laughs> listen to that. But to answer the question, if we can get, actually get the hold, I, I turned it off. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what to do. <laughs> So tell me about uh, Sonic You. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm here, so the electric hedgehog Pokemon, the very first of the species, collide with, I was a Pikachu that I got collide with Sonic. But, you know, to answer the earlier question, I guess uh, to say the uh, Mama's favorite character would have to be uh, 
you know, me, science, you, would that be, that would just sound pretty biased, but I guess, yeah. but, I, but if I were to give it to somebody else, you know, just, you know, like, hey, thanks, Mama, you just uh, named me your favorite character, but I'll tell you who the font should really go to. Uh, should give it to Magic Chan. He's awesome. Magic Chan is awesome. Can you explain to the audience what Magic Chan is? Mm, he's one of our, he's one of the very special. Can you take the number down, maybe? And then people won't call as much. You take the number off. The take screen. the number down. Just for now, like you don't want people to call in. I do, but if they're not gonna. If it could be pissed during the line. I don't know. I, I I like the callers, but I guess maybe you're right. We'll just yeah. mute it for now. Yeah. Do a thing. I'll just mute it for now. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'll do uh, it. So anyway, I'll just talk. Magic Chan is uh. One of the special Sonic Shoes and Rose Shoes, whereas uh, out of that chaotic rainbow from 2003, the infinite number of Sonny and Rosie eggs went throughout the far reaches of time, space, and dimensions. And like a handful, uh, and compare out uh, the percentage of uh, that is our specials, and Magic Chan was one of them. He's like our uh, guardian. He was like our guardian and all round guide. He was mentored by Mewtwo. And the one and only Mewtwo that was cloned by Team Rocket in C197. The legendaries and mythicals, they can reproduce. And there was only one Mewtwo that was literally cloned by Team Rocket as portrayed in the movie, whereas all the other Mewtwo's that are typically commonly caught, they're the ones that were burst from the Mew, as talked about in Red and Blue. But anyway, so Magic Chan was tutored by the one and only Mewtwo. Uh, he's psychic and electric type, and... He was able to see, he's able to see into the future and seeing all rounds throughout all dimension, time and space and all that. And he's just, he has awesome psychic powers. He's overpowered, but he, he, he does really for the good of, good for everybody and all that. Wow. Did you ever watch uh, Pokemon growing up? I didn't Max. watch it quite as much. I play the Game Boy games a lot. Yeah. I didn't watch it quite as yeah. much. Yeah. I, I, I didn't play the games. I only watched the mm -hmm. show. Personally. So, uh, folks, I think it's time that we hear another uh, song here from Max oh. Mandu. Um, <laughs> right, Max, sure. Max, I want to hear something. Uh, I want to hear something. Something classic. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Sure. Yeah. So when you're busking, you do a lot of busking, right? Yeah. What's the song that people request the most? Uh, a couple favorites. I mean, stuff like Take Me Home, Country Roads. That's always up there. Wagon Wheel. Oh yeah, um, do you know Wagon Wheel? Carolina. I uh, know Take Me Home. You know Take Me Home? Road. Do you guys want to perform together? Maybe Take Me Home? Eh, all right. I didn't practice that one quite as much as Carolina in my mind. Okay. Don't mind, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, just play the tune and I'll hum a few, just hum right. a few it bars. Can it can be rough. It can be rough. Right. I think it's fine if it's rough. Mm. I think it's okay. If it's rough, it's okay. Mabel, stop calling in. <laughs> You're crowding the lines. Go ahead, man. All right, thanks. This is Carolina, my mind. Well, in my mind, I've gone to Carolina. I can't you see the sunshine? Can't you just feel the moonshine? Ain't it just like a friend of mine to hit me from behind? I guess I've gone to Carolina in my mind. Karen, she's a silver sun, you best walk away Then watch her shining, watch her watch the morning go And a silver tear appearing, now I'm crying Ain't I, I guess I've gone to Carolina in my mind There ain't no doubt in no one's mind Love's the finest thing around 
Whisper something soft and kind And the signs might be omen Say I'm going, going I've gone to Carolina in my mind well, In my mind I've gone to Carolina Can't you see the sunshine? Can't you just feel the moonshine? Ain't it just like a friend of mine To hit me from behind I guess I've gone to Carolina in my mind Dark and silent late last night I think I might have heard the highway calling And geese in flight and dogs in bite And the signs that might be omen say I'm going, going I've gone to Carolina in my mind With a holy host of others gathered around me Still I'm on the dark side of the moon And it seems like it goes on like this forever You must forgive me If I've up and gone to Carolina in my mind Wow, thanks a lot now, uh, now, Max, mm -hmm. <clears throat> what is like one of the worst things that's ever happened to you while you were busking? <laughs> Let's come around. Um, so, overall, like very positive interactions. Definitely, like ninety nine percent of people are very nice and supportive. Yeah. Every once in a while, you do get some very random interactions. Um, one time, I was in Ocean City, Maryland. I was busking on the boardwalk out there, and some guy just passing by. He was probably drunk or something. He's like, "Probably, hey, you suck." And yeah. you, sh you should quit. And I'm like, all right, man. Was it your dad? No, it was, I didn't know this guy. <laughs> no, just, my, parents, my parents are pretty supportive. That's good. Uh, That's yeah. rare mm -hmm. that uh, yeah. parents are supportive of you know such artistic endeavors. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So uh, speaking of art, you know, you're both artistic. I see uh, your shoes here. Are, I was looking at your shoes, but then I noticed this. Oh. Are you on house arrest? Uh, no. Magic stones. Oh, magic stones in your socks. Yep. Okay. Just a couple extra places to keep them. I thought it, I thought uh, Sonichu was on house arrest. <laughs> no, not house arrest. Just got a couple of stones in each sock. A, a bulge in your sock. Mega stone. What's a mega stone? Well, you know, mega evolution in Pokemon. Yeah, us Sonichus and Rosechus have a mega evolve. Is we that a is that a thing in po Pokemon? Yeah. Okay. Been around since. Uh, what, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire? I want to say X and Y, but that doesn't sound right. That doesn't sound right at all. Yeah. We have a quiet Skyping coming in. I mean. There's a lot of callers who want to call in, and I'm sorry, but our guests just aren't taking the callers right now. And, uh, you know, quite honestly, it was just a lot of garbage calls, anyways. Yeah. Um, but maybe we'll take calls in a minute. I'll turn it back on. We can take calls. Maybe you can maybe you could switch your calls to comments, and maybe Sylvian will throw the comments for maybe, you. Uh, yeah, maybe you could read some comments. Do you want to read some comments? Uh, <laughs> I here, guess I could sit, troll. You sit here. I you guess I could troll some comments. You sit where I sit, and I'll sit where you sit. All right. You use that pillow. Sit right in the middle of the pillow. Oh, middle. And I'll uh, I'll pull up some some comments for you here, and you can read them. You can read them. <laughs> Let's read some comments. Let's read some comments. So there they are, right there. Yeah. Go for it. Oh, you want to talk about my mama's posture? <laughs> you think that's something? I'll tell you what's something. The fact that you're observing and commenting, you're just wasting a couple of words. My God, you're a God. You're a goddess. You're you can, you can pray to Christian now. <laughs> What the fuck is... What about social... Oh, here, uh, uh, Christine, I mean, um, Sonichu, you know, this is actually a, something we should address, is that we're not practicing social distancing right now. Yeah. 
But no. everybody should be encouraged to wash their hands. Go to the same bathroom, wash your hands, or have a bottle of hand sanitizer and make it sure you is. get 99.9% .9 off your hands of your germs. Yeah, we're it not. probably is a little better if you guys don't sit quite so close. Yeah, maybe I should say. scoot <laughs> over. Maybe no. I should scoot ah. over. <clears throat> Scooty doodly boo boo. But even, I mean, what do you think about the coronavirus? We, we were going to talk about that. So we might, yeah, we um, might as well hit it. What's going on? I think it's real and should be taken seriously. I think it's real too. You know what I think? Mm -hmm. I think that what happened was there was, you know, Wuhan, China, right? Wuhan, China. Mm -hmm. There's like this Wuhan, China bioweapons facility in Wuhan near that, that meat market. And uh, I've been watching Stefan, you know, Stefan Molyneux? No. Stefan Molyneux, he does this, uh, he has the number one philosophy show on the internet. Okay. Anyways, I was watching Stefan Molyneux and he's like, um, he's like talking about how there's this chemical research facility in Wuhan, China. And um, Sonichu, maybe you think this too, but I think that this is a, this is like military grade weapon. Uh, what do you think? You're saying the coronavirus is a military grade weapon? Yeah, it's like AIDS. It has AIDS uh, inserts. You ever, I'm not making that up. It, HIV inserts. Okay. In the uh, um, RNA. I haven't heard anything about that. I am not. I'm not aware of anything from that angle. Yeah. Um, I'm not saying it's not true, but I don't want to be a part of supporting anything that says that at this point. Me neither. I'm just saying it's interesting. Okay. That's all. Personally, I actually do have an opinion about this. Uh, there is a video on the YouTube channel Spiritual Science where they talked about this recently, and they considered this to be like a fated event. Of, of fated. The, yeah, of the cosmos that has to do with the planetary alignments, and they number and they listed the number of uh, in certain years where literally Pluto and Jupiter were in line and in each of those there was a virus of some sort one of which was AIDS and they're in line right now during this month for all this so it's so that's so it's more of a fated event than a biological weapon as, wow. as what but it may have such origins upon that but it's more like a fated event that we just have to overcome just sort out the uh, weaker from the strong and all you gotta do is remain as optimistic and positive as you can. Hey, go watch a comedy show. Absolutely. I think that's exactly what people go, should go be doing Go make some right comedy now. or something. Yeah, people should be doing something else. Uh, I hear, I read that, uh, and Max, as a musician, you help with this because I read that when you're stressed, you're actually immunocompromising yourself. So if we just forget that the virus exists and we, uh, we like refrain from stressing out about it, then you know we're basically immune to it. Very much so. I wouldn't go that far. Um, I I agree that stress that immunocompromises you, yeah. but there's a medical reality beyond just stress. So I don't think that you can say, I'm just not going to worry about it and it's not going to affect me. Right. So obviously, you know, thousands and thousands of helpless people are dying, uh, being buried in shallow graves in New York City. Um, yeah, I heard the count was like about um, I think eight eight thousand cases or one or maybe eight thousand deaths. Well, I'm not sure if I remember correctly. Eight thousand? Yeah, I f I forget. Uh, I think it's uh, way more. I think it's yeah, way more. Yeah, I think the case the cases are more than that. But it was I think like, it's like tens and tens and hundreds and. Yeah, I, you're talking about the cases, but uh, cases. Yeah, the cases where those infected by the millions. coronavirus. Millions. Out of the uh, billions of people. Millions are infected. Now I, okay, maybe uh, if you count worldwide, I mean, sure. But worldwide, it's only eight thousand uh, billion. That's still like a less than a penny out of the pocket. Let's just agree to that. Do you, do you think now this is an interesting thing? Do you think that the the ends justify the means? We're looking at five years of economic depression for sure. Hmm. And uh, are we sure that this is the right way to go about it? When, uh, you know, we're only looking at, as you said, Sonichu, just a penny in the pot. 
you know, people's okay. lives. Uh, I'm not an economist. Honestly, I didn't I didn't come on the show to talk about the virus. Mostly. You're right. Let's just let's just talk about music and uh, yeah. and comic books. Yeah, although I just I will just comment because this because this is definitely one of the events that's going on with the merge because we need to root out the number of people because so, you know we got their cell counterparts in twelve in C one nine seven versus their cell car cell counterparts twelve eighteen. So some of them. I have one and the other, they're going to pass on a spirit, merges with the other and so forth. So, so what you're saying is that there are faded events that involve thousands of people dying and that has to happen? Yeah. In this there's case, no escaping it? Yeah. And this is pretty much just, in the, just the way it has to happen for the, for the cost of the dimension merge. Because when you combine the, pe the populations of both dimensions, it's going to get pretty heavy again. So you don't want a major overpopulation. Right. All right. All right well, let's I go mean, back uh, to the music and art talk. Let's go back to music and art talk. So, um, you know, I, we were talking before the show about what the trajectory of a music career today mm -hmm. looks like. Obviously, mm -hmm. the, the online market is huge. It's mm -hmm. festering, especially now. People are not going out to concerts. Um, I imagine you're, you're having some trouble booking shows. Uh, so I imagine that what you're doing is you're thinking, how do I get on to live performances online and and broker myself to the masses? Right. Yeah. So I will be clear that I'm, I'm not a full time musician at this point. I do have right. a day job, uh, but definitely keeping music going strong. In the meantime, I'm kind of taking this time as a chance to uh, just do some recording and, you know, clear out some of the noise of society and remove distractions, do some recording to work on my art. So that when this clears up, uh, I'll be able to, to move forward all that much with that much more conviction. Yeah, definitely. Jeez, I'm depressed now that we talked about the coronavirus. Yeah, well, let's pop up. Let's perk up a bit. I mean, it could be worse. I mean, you could be unable to get a job. Period. Like, uh, like uh, Christine, Mama. She like she was unable to because of all the things that. <gasps> Whew, all the vi all the videos that in content the trolls had just it stored it over the years, but fortunately that's that stopped. That's in the past now. Way in the past. We we, that's in the past now. Yeah. And now we're just focusing on. But still, we, I mean, we still they do they do background check, but to go from the negative to the positive, it still was. I mean, the fact that Mama could not get a job at all was actually fake because she was destined. To become a goddess and just lead a whole bunch of in, bunch of individuals uh, um, with all the other deities who lead their individuals are um, uh, underneath them and so forth, for, uh, so we can work together against our common goals and foes in the future. Mm -hmm. And it's going to get quite hectic. And a bunch of that, Mama was able to chronicle over the years in their books. Oh yeah, uh, you can you can look straight at that camera and show that book. That's my, that's uh, her that's twelve dash nine book talking about Night Star Sonichu. That's my personal copy, uh, right there. Yep. It's a really good book. But Mama did has drawn more than fifteen books, and there's two that she approved that are fan works, and uh, she's still continuing on. At least she's able to do it so much better. Now that she is in C one nine seven in her body, she's within her. She has. She is literally within her, able to get within her own speed force. Those of us that can go at my speed can get into speed force. If you want to know, know what that is? Read the Flash. Read the Flash. Yeah, I think if, if everyone probably knows. And they definitely speed. talk about on death battles. Quicksilver versus the Flash. Death battle. The Winter Winter Flash. Uh, that was Screw Attack. Yep. And then Screw Attack changed their name to Death Battle. Changed their name because that stuttering John guy kept molesting people. Uh, okay, I did not hear that. I did not hear about that. But she, he's weird, not boomstick. And it's our job to analyze the weapons, armors, and skills to find out who will win. Oh, too funny! That's it's a good show. It's well produced. Yeah, Mama yeah. loves Rainbow Dash versus uh, Star Screen. Yeah, that was probably one of my favorite episodes as well. Now, Max, uh, you know, speaking about you know how to make it though in the mm -hmm. in this current economy, you know, what you are trying to quit your day job. It, you 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 kind of copped out of this question earlier because I asked I asked you, you know, what are you going to do? What how are you going to make it? And I and I don't want to hear you have a day job. I want to see you quit the day job 
and go straight into music, but we, you need to be ambitious. So what's that's the true? trajectory? Okay. That's a know? good point. What's the trajectory? Uh, I know that the, the traditional trajectory for musicians is very difficult, especially right now. Um, people aren't going to be playing shows. It is an opportunity to explore connecting with fans online more. I've thought about, I'm throwing around lots of ideas right now. I'm thinking about doing something like offering songwriting services to, to fans or clients that it could be done completely online. Uh, I'm a songwriter and producer. Um, so that could be a leg up. You can teach lessons online. You can, um, yeah, maybe put together a concert with fan requests. If you put a list out of songs that you know, and then fans can request those certain songs, you could put together an online concert with that. Yeah. Um, those are some ideas. Yeah. You could, uh, you could do a lot of stuff like that. There's a lot of streaming websites mm -hmm. these days. Oh, yeah, very much. Yeah. Including YouTube. Including YouTube. That's, like, that's no brainer right which there. Which we're live on right now with some of Augusta County's most talented individuals. And uh, I think it's time that we take uh, maybe maybe would you like to play another song or or maybe sure. we can talk and then we can talk about where people can find you and then maybe we'll chat some more. I don't know what time it is. What it time is, is it? Song at you. Uh, one thirty eight p.m. It's about one thirty eight Eastern Standard Time. So we're probably going to go until about uh, two fifteen here. So if you'd like to play another song and and then we can. Uh, reconvene for some more conversation and maybe even take some calls uh do you know wonderwall i do yeah let's play wonderwall uh, i'm gonna take a break myself <laughs> all right you, you take a break and i'll sit here with max mandu as he plays wonderwall you can find max mandu i'm sure if you google his name you can probably Wonder find him on, uh, what's your SoundCloud username, Max? SoundCloud is just Max Mondu, M-A-X-M-A-N-D-U. Wonder Wonderwall. This <laughs> mic is on. <laughs> He's in the back. Oh my gosh. We have to... Saw did you? Yeah. Your mic is on and you're in the bathroom. I can't let you do that. Oh. <laughs> well, what am I supposed to do? Can you turn it off from over here? Yeah, I'll just turn it off. All right, go ahead, Max. What's wonderful? Right. gonna be the day that they're gonna throw it back to you but now you should have somehow realized what you gotta do i don't believe that anybody feels the way i do about you now a backbeat the wood is on the street that the fire in your heart is out I'm sure you've heard it all before, but you never really had a doubt I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now And all the roads you had to walk were winding And all the lights to light the way were blinding there are many things that I would like to say to you, but I don't know how. Cause maybe you're gonna be the one that saves me. And after all, you're my wonder wall. Today is gonna be the day that they're gonna throw it back to you By now you should have somehow realized what you gotta do I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now And 
And all the roads you had to walk were winding And all the lights to lead us there are blinding There are many things that I would like to say to you But I don't know how Cause maybe You're gonna be the one that saves me And after all You're my wonder wall Said maybe I'm just I have foreseen it before, so and just pretty much it's a whole bunch of I can recognize it as it goes along. You're my wonder wall. Awesome. Yay. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Love Wonder Wall. Thank you. Well, that was, you know, it's, it, was a, it was a good thing I caught that. It's a good thing I'm listening to the audio and I was able to hear that uh, you can hear you <laughs> in the bathroom. That's a, My bad. That's a very awkward. Oh, well, it could be worse. <laughs> a could lot been, worse. Yeah, it could have been. Now you're clipping. Can you talk for me? Mic check. Yeah, it's okay. <clears throat> well, you know, Max, I think you're really talented. I think you're Thank sure you. you're definitely uh, on this. Sh- this is the first episode of the show. Um, and Sonichu, I don't know if it's you or Christine, the, whoever is around. Yeah, I'm in the, here. In the future, I'd like to you maybe have you as co host more often. Uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I've typically got play by ear and destiny in the events. I'm very in tune. But so. maybe it's faded. Yep. Was well, anybody give you this day? Thank you. For coming on, and thank you, Max. And um, my pleasure. You know, I'd I'd just like to finish by talking about. uh, I'd like to finish by talking about you know sort of your abilities spiritually. Yeah. Mm, Well, Mama's abilities uh, when when she's she can astral project and everything, and it manifests on the C one I seven side definitely. When are we getting Christine back? Uh, As soon as possible. Um, personally, at this point, I mean, this body has to go into C-197, then with the help of a Celebi, which is the time travel mythical Pokemon, go back in time to April 10th with this body, and give it to her at BabsCon that, that day. So then, essentially, Voop catches up to all the training and events that uh, she had gone up to this point, and then, finally, you know, catches up to when... This body op- opens the portal that allows this f- first that allows me, which at that point would be a past version, to uh, get this body in C one nine seven. And from that point forward, it's essentially what will happen will happen because you know it's like you think. I mean, it even goes into Avengers Endgame when Bruce Banner talks about like you know time travel. It's like you, yeah, so you're you, but then you go back into the past, and now that past is your future, whereas the present that you are in right now becomes your past. And so it's like, at this point, this present is the past of what now is going to be this body's future. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So is Back to the Future a bunch of bullshit? Back to the Future is, actually. <laughs> no, it really is. No, I was making a joke because I was quoting a movie. But well, it is. Okay, well, I wasn't being totally serious with the question. So, can you? How do? You, what do you think? How do you think time travel works? Hooey! Time travel it just works. You go from one destination in time and space, and whoop, you go into another, another point in time and space, and through the wormholes and yada yada yada. Oh yeah, that was that one time I did go back in time with uh, Christine Chan, which is uh, Mama's counterpart in C one nine seven. That's been that y'all had been reading about in the books this whole time. Yeah, just to go back to the high school days, get that one issue ball that was part of the uh, Chaos Emerald energy that came from the Chaotic Rainbow. Max, dude, get out of there, bro. Max, get out of there, run. Punch out, dude. Punch out. Get out of there, bro. Get out. You're good. Get out of there. 
What? I think this? he was saying to get out of there. I tell you to we get had a out. We caller said, "Get out of there." Get out! Get out! No, you get out. I get in. I think everything's fine though. As long as your troll, your call is not trollish, we'll take calls in the near timing. Hello, caller. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Hi, this is for Chris. Okay, Chris, uh, go ahead. Where's Barb? Uh, she's at home. The question was, where's Barb? Yeah. She's at home. She's at home. She's not part of the show. Hello? There's too many calls. They're all, uh, it's crazy. You guys have to call like one at a time. That was someone saying the dimensional merge is real. Yes, it is. It is real. Hello? Hello. Am I on? Uh, hello, can you guys hear me? Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. There's too many calls. Oh my god. It's crazy. I think we're hearing our audio delay in his microphone through his speakers while he calls us. Oh, good grief. Let's talk about the past. I have a question for Sonichu. Yeah. So, where is Just a quick question. You know, it's about your mother, your creator, Christine. She's been. Unfortunately, manipulated and used what? by people in the past. And you know, is there any way that your fans or people watching right now can prevent any kind of future, you know, manipulation of Christine? Make sure, like some, you know, right wing, oh, right, yeah. uh, just, just, <laughs> want that to try to take advantage of her so they can have a little fame for themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Essentially, um, you can. Yeah. You just. You can voice your concerns and whatnot when it's when such moments come up for her. And uh, but at this point, her common sense and better judgment has matured a whole lot better. And you're you've been staying well, away from. And I'm uh, I'm yes. certainly glad that it's happened. But uh, you know, and I'll leave it at that. Thank you for your time, Christine, and good luck with the show, there, Shia. Hope you're proud of yourself. Thanks, boy. Yeah, I mean, I think you've been staying away from uh, the old avenues of the internet, which yeah. used to bring you so much trouble. Yeah, you have been. Yeah, we've been ignoring the comments. You just you just ignore it, right? Yep. And that's the best thing you can do. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's you need to go in a more positive direction than that. Yep, I mean as optimistic and positive as possible. Zapping it up. Yeah. All right, Max. Well, um, I don't know. What do you want to leave? I feel like you guys, it seems to be, uh, you got a lot of audience focused on Sonichu, <laughs> and I feel like I don't quite as fit well in what you're trying to do with the show. So Yeah, but I like, I sharing, like, the, I like sharing the spotlight, you know. I appreciate that. Uh, you guys have been kind. but I, I think you're really talented. And yes, I think you are very talented. If you talented. want to contact me in the future, you know, we can do all kinds of things together. Okay, sure. So absolutely. Yeah, uh, I thank you very much, my, Max my Mandu. My time, yeah. All right, thanks, guys. Do you want to stay on? Uh, I can stay out a while longer, yeah. Uh, you want to stay on and we'll send Max home? Ow. Max, feel free to take the pizza with you. That's okay. <laughs> okay. Pizza's good. The pizza was really good. Brought to you by Papa John's. So bring it up. Just don't send it into 14 Branchland Court. If you, tell, if you tell people that this is brought to you by Papa John's, they're going to think that we're uh, racist. Not really. <laughs> I mean, all we did was buy a pizza for them. They helped. They helped. We bought. We bought lunch from them. So, yeah. I was making. I was mostly being facetious. Facetious. Facie. Facie. C. 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 Facetious. That's a weird word. Yeah. Facetious. <clears throat> well, let's hear it for Max Mandu. Give him. Let's give him a round of applause. Yeah. Thanks, Max, for coming Thank on. Thank you, Max. As he awkwardly leaves the studio. Oh, now it's just. Do you want to scoot over here, and we can just we can just use this uh, this angle here for the yeah. future. Do you want to take some more calls? Uh, yeah. We'll take, as long as we get them in one at a time instead oh, of over there. Yeah. Can I have the microphone? Yeah, it's on the chair. Oh, it's on the chair. Oh, you just leave it there then. That's okay. okay. And yours is uh. Yeah. Yours was uh. Okay. Yeah. We had a little bit of an audio problem there, so let's take some more calls uh, while we wait for. 
Right. Try to take one at a time. What's cash? I was gonna PayPal you. Is that all right? Yeah, I am gonna PayPal you. You just. Uh, he got you covered. I do got you covered, Max. Thank you. Yeah. More importantly, thank you. Yeah. Uh, caller, how can how how are you? Hello. Uh, hello. Hello. You called in. I mean, geez. Max, have a good one, man. Drive safe and stay away from that corona. All right, caller, speak up. Hello. Uh, yes, hello. Hello, yeah, hello. What's up? Yeah, I just... Uh... Can you turn the speakers off? Yeah. Thanks. Hey, uh, I just want to say I really hope Max got paid for that appearance. He is getting paid okay. for the appearance. Thank you. He's getting paid for the okay. appearance. <laughs> Man, I got hardcore secondhand embarrassment that entire time. So, Wasn't that the point? <laughs> Max is a fucking legend. Love that guy. Max is a legend. Let's hear another round of applause for Max. Max is a, a freaking trooper. I thought he was going to run out of here. But he did all right. Yep, he did. He did all right. All right. Yes, hello. You're on with, with uh, Sonichu. Speak up! Hello! Yes, hello. You're on with Sonichu. What is up with these people? I don't know. Maybe they're why just... Do you, why maybe, do you think they call in at all? Maybe they're just putting their receivers on the side just waiting for their time. Yeah, maybe they are. You're, you're, a, you're a hot guest. <laughs> I I'm on mean, fire! I don't mean physically, uh, Sonichu. I mean... Hello! Uh, hello, you're on with Sonichu. Yes. Hi. So, uh, we had a question for Sonichu. Yes. And we were just wondering, so my fiance is super into uh, Lolita and Japanese street fashion. And we were just uh, wondering what your opinion was on that. Oh, fortunately, in Mama's memory, we do know what that is, so... You do? Yeah. <sighs> the whole Lolita thing. What yeah. is that? Uh, it's a Don't sense. say it. <laughs> Don't say it. Uh, but enough said. Um, definitely not a not a pedophile. This is leave it at that. Leave you don't it at that. that. When you when you say, you when you say I'm not a pedophile. It's... The Japanese street fashion, not Lolicon. <laughs> what did you say, yeah. woman? Can you can you get that wife of yours off the phone? Uh, can I speak to a man, please? Uh, yeah, I, I, a man is here. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. I feel a lot more comfortable now. <laughs> so what she's trying to say is it's not actually it's not Lolicon, it's uh, Lolita, which is like the the fashion with like the frilly dresses and stuff. Do you know what he's talking about? Is, uh, this, is this like a Japanese thing? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Well, what about it? Why are we talking about? Why? This? Why? 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 I feel like you, your characters might look cute in Lolita dresses. Oh, fuck. Like, uh, uh, like Sonichu in a Lolita dress? <laughs> well, yeah, you, cute. I think that would be... Huh. You could have an entire edition, an entire book. Uh, maybe, amongst the, maybe amongst the female Sonichus and Rose Chews, amongst the, yeah. amongst the ladies, but let's... let's <laughs> meh. That's... That's my response for me. Don't put me in one right now. I mean, I'll dress up as Vinyl Scratch for like I did for Halloween, but yeah. All right, we're gonna have to let you guys go and get on to another caller. But thank you for that insightful question. That was yeah, that insightful. A uh, don't ask type question. Yeah, we need. I I really want to know the answer to that. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, caller, you're on with Sonichu. Yep. Hello. 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 You're on with Sonichu. Hey, can I speak to Megan Schroeder? Oh. She hand. is somewhere else. Megan Schroeder. What? Yeah. You want me to hang up on them? Uh, yeah, because they're not here right now. All right. They're I'm not... sorry, Colin. Try and... Hey there, you're on uh, with, with Sonichu. 
Hello? Yes. Yeah, how's Barbara? She's all right. She's in good health. She's staying, she's staying away from the public. Yeah, for the most part. She better be. Mm-hmm. Um, can she is another version of her in another dimension right now? Um, yeah, no, her cap, her self counterpart in C one nine seven is no more and has merged with the Barbara here at twelve eighteen. So yeah, this one's gonna live, it's gonna survive, and all that. Okay. I see. Thank you very much. All Thank right. Thank you for your call. That was a good one for once. That was a good one. I feel better. Hello, you're on with Sonichu. I can hear the speak. Can you when you call into the you you shut your mouth for a second, caller. When you call into the show, you turn off your speakers, okay? Yeah. It's just decency, right? You turn off your. I don't want to hear myself. All right, I'm sorry. What's up with your question? Oh, am I on right now? Yeah, you're on right now. Yeah. Oh, uh, I just wanted to say, first off, I love Max's Wonderwall. Yeah, he did a good job with Wonderwall. Yep. Yeah, he did a good job. Oh, and uh, so did you. When's the new comic coming out? As soon as possible. I'm mostly having to be linked with the events of the merge and all, and everything else, and the cosmos, and yada yada, and... I'm just not one that's able to function as totally constant as I ought to be, but I just function as I do, so, you know, it'll be done. The next book will be done when it's done, all right? No, no estimate? Uh, I don't have an estimate off the top of my noggin. Within but, the next year? Uh, I'm going to say, okay, yeah, within the Two next... years? Within the next year, okay? Can we leave Can we... Yeah, leave it at that. The next year. All right. Okay. Okay, and I just want to say, uh, my fiance loves you, and don't let those haters get to you, man. Yeah, thank you. Real talk. Okay. All right, peace. Thanks. You want to keep taking calls? You like this? You're hearing from your fans. These yeah. people really like you. Yeah. All right, let's keep going. Keep going. I wish Max was still here. Yeah. I miss him. <sighs> Hello, you're on with Sonichu. Hi, Sonichu. Yep. Where do you plan on living after Bob dies? This is my response right now, just... You know, <sighs> you want to know what my, my answer to that is? You're going to live here. <laughs> You're going to live here. No, I don't know about that. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, oh well. Let's take the next one. Next caller, you're on with uh, Sonichu. Hey, Christine, I have a quick question for you. Have you been playing the new Animal Crossing? No, we have not been playing the, animal, the new Animal Crossing game. I, have, I, hear, I hear good things about it, though. Do you, uh, are you going to be purchasing a copy of it anytime soon, or are you going to hold off on that for a little bit? Uh, probably hold off. You know, why is that? I, th I thought you would be, like, clawing after it. <sighs> why don't you want to play? Uh, I just... With everything that's been going on, I feel like I don't. I just only can able game. So, we can only be able to game so much. Uh, Christine, I have another quick question for you. Would you ever want to make another Animal Crossing documentary like the one you made back in two thousand? <sighs> Maybe, but don't push me on that. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you for your call. All right. Oh, she's very nice. Yep. She's very nice. That was easier. <clears throat> Hello, caller. You're on with uh, Sonichu. Hello? Yes. Hello, you're on with Sonichu. Hi, Sonichu. Uh, I, I just had a question about Magi-chan. We don't really hear about Magi-chan that often anymore, so I was just wondering uh, how, how they were doing. Uh, Magi-chan is awesome. Right now, he is... Presently working with Mama over in the C1I7, and Krizel was Krizel's with them as well. And on that, just essentially guiding uh, Mama on her paths and training and duties and all that. And very soon she's gonna open that portal and help me get into C help me make this delivery of her body so I can actually 
Get back into my body finally on the retro on the retro on the retcon date. Yes, I said retcon. So there you have it. <laughs> uh, you should scoot over a little bit. Center oh. yourself in the shot. I'll scoot over this way. Eh. No, this way, this way. Oh, oh. Sorry, I just I'm a, I want the shot to look correct. It's important. <laughs> All right, we'll go to the next caller then. Yeah, take another one. Hi, you're on with Sonichu. Oh, uh, hello. Hello. I have a question for um, Sonichu. Yep. Um, so uh, we know the origins of um, this goddess uh, uh, philosophy comes from hyperdimension Neptunia. Uh, what is your opinion on hyperdimension Neptunia? Are you a fan of it? Um, what games have you played of it? Uh, big fan, quite a bit. Um, yeah, I almost played V2 and a bit of uh, Super RPG and then a bit of the first one, a bit of Hyper Devotion, a bit of Blonde vs. Zombies. But, 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 but anyway, but yeah, it's, but essentially very well aware. She's been, well, she's been well aware. She's been, she's a decent amount fan at this, at this point. Still has more to go in playing all that. Uh, but 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 she has personally talked with uh, each of the goddesses, uh, including the original CPU of the Commodore console, Scarlet, which uh, you know passed yeah. on in 1994, then and then entered Mama's body and soul. So so the two of them are together in C197 now. Once uh, over there in her in her the future version of her body, and. All that. So yeah, she's a full-on functioning goddess. She can take and answer prayers fully at this point. <sighs> Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you for your call. Yep. Another one. We could do this all day. Do this for a little while longer. Yeah, we could do all oh, just, or maybe just for a little while longer. All right, caller, you're on with Sonichu. Hi, Sonichu. Do you still like Sailor Moon? Do I still like what? Sailor Moon. Oh, yeah, Sailor Moon is awesome. They are, they are, the Sailor Senshi and Anar so we're good, we're good allies. Okay, thank you. All right. Next question. Take another one. You're on. You're on. Yo. 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 Hey, so, uh, hey. I've, has, has, <laughs> you just hung up. Eh, you chickened out. You chickened out. Try again. You chicken out. Hello. You're on the air. Holy crap. Okay, so I have a question for Chris. Um, have you ever considered getting the style consultant? Because the way you dress is kind of weird. Uh, have I considered what? You're talking about style. Um, I mean, your fashion sense is weird, so maybe change it up a little. Oh, um, well, yeah, we do change we do change the style from time to time. Um, at least for uh, it's but we're progressive. We're just trying to keep it casual for the most part at this point. Maybe we can maybe we can uh, call or stay on the line, but maybe we can talk about sort of what's going on with your wrists. Oh, 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 yeah, I got a couple of gold rings. Well, that's, I mean, yeah, a couple of gold rings. And, th and that's that's not even all. You have a Fitbit. You've yeah. got uh, Yeah, I got crystals. a Fitbit. You've got two watches. Is that two watches? Uh, yeah, two watches. Uh, two wa are those different time zones? Or? Uh, no, pretty much the same time. But one of them is holding, but one of them is pff, holding a bunch of stones in it. If I can get... <laughs> the caller says you dress weird. What do you think about it? I'm unique. Leave it at that. He's unique. Leave him alone. Leave us alone. We're in unique. This is our style. We're gonna rock it. That's right. Thank yeah, you for your you thank you for your call. Anyway, bye. 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 That's kind of constructive criticism, <laughs> you know. Yep. I mean, I think the way you dress is fine. I think the only problem with it is your, the gloves. Well, I got. They give us a good grip on things. They're functional. I guess so. All right, let's go to the next caller. Hi, you're on with Sonichu. 
Hey, my phone died before. I was the guy who like rudely hanged up. Um, no, you're the guy who chickened yeah. out. Yeah, you just say your phone um, died, sure. Has he known or has he heard about the show Christory? Uh, yeah, we're not, we're, we are aware of all the uh, Christorians and those who document uh, Mama's history and all that. Um, among which we're definitely uh, familiar with Gino, Gino Samuel and uh, D.H.L. Uh, Dil, Dylan and uh, among and among others. So yeah, very very much aware. Yeah, uh, there's a show, um, a podcast called Christory with uh, Mysterious Kokonos and uh, Sriracha, and they're two really really funny uh, people, um, really kind hearted, nice. Uh, you would like to, uh, as a fan of their show, uh, contact a serious coconut, so maybe they would love to uh, have you on the show. It's a very. Uh, uh, would you go on that show? Uh, maybe, yeah. Um, so, people of this Christory podcast, um, send an email to the email address featured on my on our Twitter, and uh, we'll see what we can arrange. And I'll try to look for your podcast. Um, you know, that would, get... be, that would be awesome. I think you should yeah. do it. So, yeah. yeah, okay. You can find it on Twitter, uh, yeah, Facebook, I think, um, social media. Yep. Uh, Sriracha, Mysterious Coast, Coconuts. Check them out. Okay. All right. Thank you for your call. Yep. All right, you're on with uh, with uh, Sonic Chu. Can you turn off your speakers? Oh. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Uh, okay. Okay. This is a question to uh, Chris or uh, Sonichu. Yeah. Um, I know that uh, a couple uh, twenty minutes ago, uh, Sonichu said uh, that Christine was destined to lead people as a goddess. Um, yeah. However, uh, I've seen through your communications with people online, uh, you seem to get a little frustrated when people start asking questions uh, about the merge or trying to find out more information. Uh, uh, been very vague about the details about it. Yeah, the thing, uh, yeah, the uh, thing about that is um, a, a, a certain amount of the knowledge comes into uh, Mama's brain here, and she was, she was still developing, still rather nice, still learning about her powers and abilities and all that, and uh, all the telepathy and everything, and with that, the not the final knowledge was limited, and there are certain details of which, even though there are, even though you got psychics and the deities who are able to actually fully determine that or determine that to the best ability, and then confirm it later when they confirm the details that lead up to the final event. So in this case, it's pretty much that she. Would ha she would essentially have a date for the next event that would be coming up in the near future, uh, roughly. But as for the crit critical apex event of the Dimension Merge, that is just flowing with the events that... I mean, it is in progress. It's been going on for all this time. So, there's that. And eventually we will see... Everybody will be fully tangible with each other, and so yeah, Mama just hadn't been able to get the get all the dates in her brain. So I mean, it's known subconsciously. It's just difficult getting into the conscious because more events have to happen in order to bring that up into the conscious. Yeah. Great. I know. Uh, okay. So yeah, I know that um, you said that you wanted uh, more. Believers, I know you said this a couple of months ago that you wanted more believers uh, to believe in the merge. So uh, I, I personally uh, found it a little strange that you, uh, well, Christine wouldn't really answer questions. And uh, I know she said previously that she wanted more followers, and you know, a lot of people were asking a lot of questions. Yeah, she uh, didn't. Uh, yeah, she didn't know very much. She was still in transition and learning and all that, and. It, it was beginning to get on wear and tear with her brain. I mean, shoot, after she and I swapped bodies on March 31st, I mean, I could just really sit with her. Her brain would ache a lot with all... I mean, this brain is really overpowered. It's overwhelming. Really, 
Yeah, I imagine that's overwhelming. It's overwhelming. I got headaches and yeah. In the movies, like in Freaky Friday, they don't show how overwhelming it is. It's very overwhelming. Yeah. Because, I mean, shoot, they don't even think about it. I mean, like, you know, okay, so I'm in this brain. I got to handle the specific specifications of this brain uh, and its thought process and its abilities and everything. Can you, what is the comparison of uh, the, the brain, the Sonichu's host brain versus Christine's brain? Uh, I'd say it's... Is it like going from a, like a little Alienware gaming laptop to like a big PC desktop? Um... It's a lot of RAM. Let me see. I mean, shoot. My brain versus mama. My body's brain versus mama's brain. Um, I'm going to say going from Game Boy to PlayStation 5. Wow, yeah. It's not even out. It's not even out yet. All right, we'll call her. Is there anything else you'd like to ask uh, Sonichu? Okay, that's great. I know. Uh, I just last one last thing to say. I know people would appreciate it uh, if Christine would uh, put all of the information about the marriage uh, in one just solid place. I know you post a lot on Twitter, but uh, it's kind of hard to search through Twitter, especially if you're looking for something specific. So if you could like possibly make, if you could possibly make like a website or maybe make yeah, maybe we'll get yeah, maybe we'll get something together on the individual. Like web a, on a bit an individual web page a google doc yeah something like that yeah, but yeah. fortunately the uh the christorians and trolls and haters alike uh but fortunately and haters are hand are just a few fingers compared to the massive handful that are the kind and sincere christorians uh but anyway uh hang on i lost my train of thought all right, so there's that. So they've been documenting all. Oh, they've been documenting everything that's been said on the twi on the uh, Twitter accounts. And they'd like to document it better. Yeah. So it's uh, I could just pretty much copy and paste from there and put on this Google Doc thing, and then for the, all the retroactive things that have been said, and then for anything after, I guess I could add that to the Google Doc after I put them on Twitter, which. Uh, that's a lot of work. I'd have to find somebody else to be able to do that on my behalf. Okay. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, thank you for answering uh, my question. Uh, yeah. I'm sure. I it's, it's, it's just a bit of a difficult process because Mama has had to learn throughout all this. And it's like, it's just like when she was doing the her web pages over the... Uh, Years she was not exactly a total business expert, but she business expert, but she was she was trying to be a one person band when that was too overwhelming, playing a massive amount of instruments at the same time, and it's um it it became too difficult for her. So yeah, there's that. And you know what happened to her? Old, happened to her old webs, her original web pages. She had to pull the plug on them to save her art. Because the trolls, because the haters had gotten control of them. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for answering my questions. I hope you guys have a nice day. Thank you for your call. Yep. Thank you. Positively thought provoking. Uh, caller, hello. You're on with Sonichu. Here we are. So, so I just have a couple things to say. Um, so first off, Max was so good, man. He was so good. I just hope he's not distraught enough to get in a great Dodge Challenger and run down a fat chick in downtown Charlottesville. Yeah, Max <laughs> Max was insanely uh, good. Uh, Internet Lumberjack, good dude. Third for you, Chris Chan. Uh, real quick, I hear the next uh, copy of uh, the Sonichu comic book is called When Men Catch Me, I Don't Like It That Much. Is that true? Thanks. Wait, what, what was that? I don't know, he kind of just spoke for like a really straight minute and then he hung up. Yeah, so he's like, yeah, it's not, he sounded like he said uh, the, uh, what, is my next book going to be like uh, cash? You don't know, it's going to be straight up. Um, I don't know, I don't, I did not understand what you said, but, but the uh, next book is essentially, we're still working on book 15 where it's, uh, expense, or it's an expensive redo on book 15 but instead of which of course you know it's heavily uh taking from rose shoe story a fan fiction which hits spot on with Rose with rosie um but this is more mainly from my point of view science you 
So, but we're still working on that. Caller, you're on with uh, Sonichu. Hi. Um, my question is, do you, does Crystal have any ill will towards Snyder? The what? A lighter? Uh, Michael Snyder, do you still have any ill will towards him? Oh, 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 Mike oh. Mike Snyder, do you, do you have any ill will towards Mike Snyder? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, well, he's... What's wrong with Mike Snyder? Well, he's been, well, uh, pretty much not anymore. Not anymore to answer your question, but, yeah, Mike Snyder, mainly from the Game and Hobby Place, and just... A uh, massive amount of history. Uh, ben Mama from the you know, how he plays it, then had her put in jail, tried to lost her. Oh, you lost know, her I got there. him confused with the guy who made the Batman movies. Uh, <laughs> I thought we were talking about. Uh, you Batman wish movies. you wish that Michael Snyder would be more fi more famous and not better off on that. <laughs> but yeah, no. Um, the uh, this, we're talking about the owner of the game and hobby. Uh, the yeah, old game of hobby place, but that yeah. place is closed and he's gone. So well, I guess we uh, know who won that. I mean, yeah, his place is closed. Yeah, water whale way under the bridge. Yeah, he got what he deserved. Yeah. Anything else, caller? Uh, no, that's it. Thanks All right. So much. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> mm, take two more calls. We're going to take two more calls. So if you want to get a call in, uh, good luck. Hello, welcome to the show. You're on with Sonichu. Hi, Sonichu. Yeah. When you wash your hands, do you take all that stuff off your hands and wrist first, or? Um. No. Well, when I am wear when I'm wearing the gloves, I I do wash my hands with soap and water. But when I'm wearing the gloves, when I'm out and about, I use the hand sanitizer. On the gloves. Uh, on the. On the gloves and you can on the show fingers. How you do that. I mean, you did it over there. I didn't see it, but I saw it. Yeah. You put the on the on the gloves. So he sanitize, uh, sanitizes the gloves. Yeah. So like basic hygiene, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> One more. All right. This is the last call, and then uh, we're gonna do an outro. Yeah. And then we'll be out of here. Hey, you're on with Sonichu. Yeah. Turn the speakers off. Please don't trust Gibby. He is one of the trolls. Gibby is bad. That is spelled G I B I. Yeah. Okay. If you're gonna troll the show, at least turn your speakers off so I can hear what you're trolling with. <sighs> Moron. All right, one more call, right? Oh uh, yeah, one more. Go a try. Real one. Yeah, one more real call. Even if we have. <sighs> this is a this is a local number. Okay. Hi, you're on with Sonichu. Uh hi. Hi. Um, I was just wondering, hi Chris, uh, what did you think of your documentary series? Um, which one specifically? Are you talking about uh, Gino uh, Sen? Gino? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'd say I'd say decently well done, and we did watch his later, latest episode that aired recently, and I would have felt better if he had kept the, albeit censored, NSFW content off of that video. I mean... It's just to just, you know, he could talk, he could talk about it, but he did not need to put the explicit videos on there. Especially regrettable cake farts. Yeesh. Anyway, so, but for the most part, his series is good. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your call. All right. All right, and that concludes uh, taking calls. Um, I just want to say... I want to clear something up. Max is getting paid for real. I'm not sure. I didn't. I am trolling Max, but I'm not trolling him like that. He's going to get paid for. Yes, he will. Anyone who's upset about what happened with Max, forget it. Stop defending Max, okay? <laughs> don't troll him. Don't be a total troll to, to Max. He's a very. He's an excellent musician. And Max didn't do anything wrong. He did not do anything wrong. He came on here and he just tried to. Yeah. Show everyone what this show is all about. Yeah. Which is showcasing talent in this region. Yep. Um, everyone knows that, you know, Dolly Parton and Johnny Cash and uh, probably Elvis Presley all came from this area. Mm. I think. Uh, Elvis from Virginia? No, I just mean, you know, like within a 200 
Oh, okay. 200 mile radius. Yeah. Oh, I walk 500 miles just to walk another 500 more. And following in their footsteps of uh, Elvis Presley and Dolly Parton <laughs> and Johnny Cash is is our uh, is Christine Weston Chandler, Sonic Chu, Max, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna be showing you many more people from the Appalachian region in coming episodes. We've got business owners. Uh, we're gonna be talking with people who have ideas. And, uh, and maybe I'll be back on this show again. And, and hopefully uh, either Christine or Sonachu will accept my invitation yeah. to do this weekly. Well, I don't know about weekly, but I will get back to you. Yeah. But you, guess, should go on that, uh, you should go on that Christory podcast. Okay, I'll look up the Christory podcast. You should do it. Yep. All right, everyone. Well, thank you very much for uh, joining us today. I hope, I hope you were entertained. Did, were you entertained? Did you have a good time? Yes, I had a great time. I know Max had a good time. Do you think Max had a good time? I think he had. I think he had a decent good time. At least he was able to get a bunch of his thoughts out, and we listened. He was listened to, and you know, just being listened to and by kind, and appreciative peep individuals. It's just that is the best thing anyone could ask for. I don't think he liked it when we were talking about coronavirus. Eh, yeah, that was a that, that was a that was a moot point. But you know, at least you know we were able to add a bit of a positive spin to it because you know. Uh, to further up on the ending question about, you know, do the end justify the mean at this point since we're going to have a common foe that is pretty much going to do a massive thing against Earth. It's better for us all to have ended up together despite a population reduction between the two dimensions as opposed it is for this guy to attack the Earth in this dimension and be like, you know, oh, we don't know what we're doing. We're underpowered. We're, you know, you know, with the OCs and fit and F, with the OCs and the FCs branded, not branded, yada yada yada. It's better. It's better to have overpowered he, overpowered heroes and mid and middle types. You know, the anti heroes and all that. It's better to have overpowered because you're gonna have you have overpowered villains. So what you're saying right now is people have to die, or else we're gonna have overpowered villains. Um. It's a, it's or otherwise, a, it's gonna be we're gonna be more easily conquered by those overpowered villains. Yeah. I mean, now that Max is gone, we can really talk about this. Uh, a little bit furt. Uh, uh, let's just. I don't want to waste your time. Yeah, we can we can we can end it here. But yeah, follow uh, Max on his account, his Twitter account, whatever that he mentioned earlier. I uh, mean, obviously, after this video is finished, you can rewind and find him and. Or and maybe he'll put it on under under. I'll put a link into the bottom of the description below. I'm way too lazy to do that, but if you uh, just Google Google stuff, you can find it. Yeah, Google. Just Google it, and you can find uh, Christine Weston Chandler's work, which uh, is stars Sonichu here. Yeah, uh, and you can find that. Uh, where Where do you buy these? Oh, uh, we can. You buy them. You buy them from QuickvilleShopping.com. That's C W C V I L L E S H O P P I N G dot com, and then also follow us on Twitter on at C P U underscore C W C S O N I C H U. Yep, and if you subscribe to this channel, you'll see more uh, talent. Yeah, lot, lots more area. talent from this area and beyond. All right. Well, thank you very much, everyone, for watching. Yep. And uh, I hope you guys have a fantastic Sunday. Stay and safe, stay well, yeah, wash stay your safe. hands, everything. Avoid avoid those New York City parks because they're going to be haunted for the next hundred years. So these all these all these shallow graves. Uh, I don't know about well. They're going to be haunted. Well, I mean, she Mama has seen ghosts, so possibly. I mean, woo, but I'm sure. But I'm sure they're mostly kind spirits. Maybe all maybe the ghosts will keep away the gambling blacks. Oh. I am not gonna go. I'm not touching that with a hundred foot pole because I'm not racist. And I'm neither is racist. and neither is Punchy Sanchu, by the way, racist? despite the eyes. Okay. Well, when, when did you ever see whites gambling on the streets of New York? It's not racist. Mm. Everybody, Anyways. lots of people gamble. So, you know who really gambles? Uh, who? Chinese. Yeah. <laughs> Thank um, you guys for watching, and and we'll uh, we'll do this again soon. Yep. Everybody, take care. Be safe and all that.